All right, don't worry, nothing is wrong with your screen. The Morning Insider is meant to distort this shot of Chicago's skyline to give you an idea of how some brains process what's in front of them. The disconnect could be because of concussions or learning disabilities or even something else. Lauren Victory introduces us to an Illinois doctor's invention that's gaining worldwide attention. A little over three and a half years ago. I could not even hear soft music playing. It was such a disruption to me. A concussion forced this small business consultant to fall back on an old craft, yeah. doing hair. I couldn't drive a car, I couldn't read, and I couldn't do simple math. Years practicing her first love, soccer, ended abruptly. One fateful day as coach of an angry player. He just turned to me, lined up, and drilled me with a soccer ball. And I brought my head back around, it was like fog. Sidelined. I felt as though I was looking out from over here. With a brain injury that intensified as months went by. I am not perceiving reality accurately. Therefore, I am not safe. Therefore, we probably shouldn't be here. Buffy Brazil was spiraling until. Uh, the science I'm using is neurophotonics. She met Dr. Deborah Zielinski of the Mind Eye Institute. Neuro means brain, photonics means light, so it's using light to affect brain function. The optometrist demonstrates using her Z Bell test, looking for synchronization between eye and ear. My brain can sense the bell's location, but watch what happens when glass bends the light coming through my lids. This is how Brazil felt every day. These are my brain glasses from Dr. Zelinsky. It's shaped differently. It's designed to bend light more to the edges of the eyes. What do we have to multiply four by to get four? Several brain glasses patients are kids struggling in school. Having to deplete energy trying to figure out where a sound is coming from. If a teacher's talking and you're trying to take notes and you can't find where they're talking from, you can't watch them and listen. In 2013, Zelensky pushed the Illinois House to pass a bill that would start a vision hearing pilot program in schools. Required Z-Bell testing could catch learning disabilities earlier, she argued, but it never became law. Is that working out pretty okay? Is it starting to get heavy? Back at the salon, Brazil looks through life with a new lens. I would not be here right now telling this story. Shedding light on a unique road to recovery. I don't want other people to give up. Lauren Victory. Awesome, man. CBS 2 News. Wow. Yeah. Isn't it great when you learn new things on our show? This is why I love this job. Brazil says that wearing her brain glasses somehow allows her to no longer need medication for bipolar disorder. Other patients reported their headaches, narcolepsy, and bad eating habits also disappeared. Dr. Zelensky is studying the exact science behind those side effects. Brain glasses can cost thousands of dollars.